Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Myers, and I'm here with my patient, Emily. She is eight months out from a stem cell procedure for a, for a left knee meniscus tear. Before we talk to her, we'll take a quick look at her imaging studies. This is her symptomatic left knee. And if we zoom in on her left knee, you can see that she has very good joint space on the outside of the knee and pretty good joint space on the inside. She does have a slight beginning bone spur on the inside of the knee here, a early indicator of mild arthritis, but nothing significant on her x-ray. Switching over to her MRI imaging, the meniscus shows up as a black triangle in the front and back of the knee. And this is a normal looking meniscus on the medial inside portion of the knee. As we roll across the knee joint to the outside of her knee where the problem is, you can see this bright defect right in the middle of the black triangle indicating her tear. Switching over to this screen, you can see this white line right through the black triangle indicating her tear. You see it again on this image right here and once again right here. This bright area within the black triangle represents her meniscus tear. Okay, so tell me about your knee problem. What happened to your knee? I was playing a tennis match like I do three or four times a week and I took a step, uh, probably a pretty wide lunge, and I felt a pop. I was able to finish the match, but I had to hop around on one knee, or on one leg, and the following day I couldn't walk. So how was that problem evaluated? What were you told? Well, it was really unfortunately evaluated by a PA instead of a physician, um, who told me right off the bat that he thought I had a meniscal tear. Um, and the surgeon who I, was, who I have gone to for other issues um, was getting ready to go out of town. So he rushed an MRI without seeing me and did in fact find a significant tear on my lateral meniscus and um, suggested that we do surgery. So he scheduled me for a surgery before we went out of town and that was that. I was going to have surgery the day after he got home. And how did you feel about surgery for this problem? Well, I didn't want any kind of surgery and then in my research about meniscal or scopes, um, it's pretty much removing tissue and most of the people who had seen my images, yourself included, didn't believe that it was repairable by surgery and you weren't the only other physician who had told me that. So I started to realize that it really would just be cleaning it up and taking tissue out and that's my shock absorber. I'm very active. I didn't want to risk the possibility of being bone on bone before I hit 55. Describe your pain that you were having with your knee. What kind of activities were significantly limited because of the knee? Oddly enough, <laughs> the biggest pain was sitting down on the toilet, um, going up and down the stairs. Um, walking, you know, just forward was fine. Um, but as I mentioned, I am an active tennis player and a biker, and the biking was okay. Could not play tennis. I couldn't do that side to side motion, um, and it was a real bummer. So how did you hear about stem cell? Well, my husband's a physician, so um, he, had, he knew about it, and he did look into it briefly and was told it might or might not be good for my tear um, elsewhere. Um, I ran into somebody who mentioned you. I was in the grocery store, and they mentioned you, and then I started talking to people on my tennis team, and several of them had come to you, and several had brought their kids here for various sports injuries. So that's how I ended up coming to you. Um, I had read online um, your information about stem cells um, and was just hoping that I was going to be a candidate for that instead of a, an invasive surgery. Here we are, eight months out from procedure. How are you doing? I'm fabulous. I have no pain. I'm back to a normal tennis game. I'm back to full sp spinning, um, Pilates, walking. I, I'm great. I'm a new person. So, since your stem cell procedure, how is life different after getting over this problem? Oh, hugely different. I mean, when you have a really active person who's all of a sudden sidelined, side -lined, I think it leads to a little bit of depression. Um, so I was taking a lot of naps and watching a lot of Netflix, and now I'm never home. I'm just on the go all the time. So it's, it's brought me back to life. Would you recommend stem cell to a friend or family member? Absolutely, I already have. Well, before I let you go, let's see a couple demanding activities. Okay, so can you squat for me? And back up, pain? Nope. Can you hop on one foot, on your left foot? That's my ankle cracking. Any pain with that? No. Very good, and let me go down the hall. Can you jog for me? 
Any pain? Nope. Very good.